In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about what sine, cosine, and tangent really are, and why do they exist. So, people have noticed that no matter how big or small a right angled triangle is, if it has the same three angles, then the ratio between all of the side lengths will be the same. So the ratio of A to B to C is constant. As long as theta is constant. Now what is theta? It's this arbitrary angle here. And as long as this angle is constant, since this angle is 180 minus 90 minus theta, due to the angles of a triangle adding up to 180 degrees, as long as that angle is like that, this angle will be, will be constant as well. So you just get similar triangles which will have the same ratio. So they thought, you know what would be useful? If we have some kind of function that will tell us what is the ratio of the sides for all of these. So these three functions here, they'll act like any other function. They'll have for sine of theta, you'll get a specific answer. And cosine, it'll take an input angle. You'll also get a specific answer. And then tangent for any input angle, you'll get a specific answer. So you might have heard of the pseudonym so ka toa in your studies before. And this is basically to help you remember that the sine of any angle is in this triangle where the hypotenuse is labeled h, you have one angle labeled theta, the opposite side to that angle is labeled o, and the final side is labeled a. Sine of theta will be in this right angle triangle, the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse, and this is basically a way for you to find out the ratio of these two sides with the angle theta. Cosine theta, adjacent over hypotenuse, using the same right angle tri triangle, you'll find that cosine theta is always going to be the ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. And finally, tangent theta is a way of relating those two sides, the opposite and adjacent, without getting the hypotenuse involved at all. So tangent theta is for the same triangle. It's going to be for any angle theta here, so ka toa, T-O-A. The tangent of an angle theta is going to be the opposite side over the adjacent side in a right angled triangle. So for this, since these act like functions, for the same value of theta, no matter what the sides of the triangle, they'll always give you the same result. Like sine of 30 degrees or whatever is always going to be 1 over 2. That's just the way it works. And yeah, I hope this was helpful to you. And we can do a lot of things with these sine, cosine, and tangent. For example, we can find an any side that we want, if we know one side length and one angle. So like, say we have this triangle here, and there's an angle of 57 degrees here, and there's a right angle here, and you know this side is like five, you want to find out this side. Well, first of all, you know it's asking for something about the hypotenuse, and you only know this angle, so you know you're going to use this angle as an input for some trigonometric function. And then this angle will be, or this side actually will be, the adjacent side. And just need to think which trigonometric ratio 
will relate the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, the cosine. So the cosine of 57 degrees will be equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, or cosine 57 degrees will be equal to the adjacent side over 5, or the adjacent side will be equal to 5 times the cosine of 57 degrees. And so on and so forth, until you can find all three sides of this kind of right triangle here. Alright, so in the end, I hope this is helpful to you. And just remember using the mnemonic that so ka toa is valid for the three trigonometric functions that you need to learn about sine, cosine, and tangent. Once you get this fundamental idea in your head, it'll open up a whole array of things you can do in math by manipulating these functions with each other based off just the side ratios of this right angle triangle. It does get pretty crazy, so I hope you'll keep watching and keep yourself interested in this trigonometry series. Alright, thank you for watching.